Miss Universe Nepal has been a roller coaster ride, which also made me realize how big of an impact it has, how big of a platform it is. My recent trip to Acham also opened my eyes of how I can change people's life, how I can change people's life for better through my advocacy project RED. I met for and from Miss Universe Nepal and the experience as a whole. I will forever cherish it in my heart. I still remember last year in 2022 when the press conference was happening I was excited and nervous for what's ahead of me. And the legends who have already applied, I'm sure they are feeling the same way. And the legends that are yet to apply, I would say go for it. Your one click can change your entire life. Today, I'm so grateful to be here. I would like to thank Nepal Tourism Board and our media partners for being here. And I would like to thank each one of you for being here as well. This is Sophia Bujel, your Miss Universe Nepal 2022. Thank you. It is really a great honor and pleasure uh, to be a part uh, of the of, you know, of this uh, program and I wish the program a great success. And uh, uh, the Miss Universe has been growing from strength to strength every year. We've been associated uh, with them. Uh, you know, we've been working very closely, especially since last year. And I want to really congratulate Nagma for she is a true example of the brave, bold, and beautiful. <laughs> yeah. You know, she could have just worn her crown and let it be, but then she took this to the next level. And you know, she's so persistent and so determined uh, to make Nepal a very known name and, and to position Nepal very strongly in the global stage. Now, uh, you would be wondering that uh, tourism board, our job is basically to you know, sell products, sell packages, sell places. So what are we doing in the pageantry uh, program? I mean, how are we associated with this? And because uh, normally when you talk about beauty pageants initially, I mean, there was a little bit of uh, you know, a negative kind of image about it. And it was, it was always like positioning, uh, just you know, it was, the whole focus was on beauty. And that has changed today. It is, you know, change. It is beauty with brains, beauty with a purpose. And uh, over the years, I've seen myself that it is no longer the most beautiful uh, girl or the most handsome man who's, who's uh, sort of, uh, you know, winning the competition. It is also their personality, you know, the gray cells that matter a lot. And I think that's wonderful. And um, I mean, I'm really gobsmacked that you have you have made it so inclusive this year, and you're allowing in married people, you know, uh, mothers, and I mean everybody, and also uh, the transgender community. I, th I think that is a great step towards, uh, uh, you know, towards empowerment of women. And uh, the reason why we are involved, and we have been increasingly involved with the various Miss uh, Nepal and the Mr. Nepal pageants, is because for us. Each and every contestant, and then each and every winner, is a tourism ambassador. And because they, they position Nepal in a global stage, and the power of uh, social media, I mean, it is the most powerful tool you can have in the world today. So every contestant is every day posting stuff about Nepal, being watched all over. And look at the main, comp the final competition. They have, they keep on showing this beautiful destination video that NTB uh, supports them to also co-produce. And it is watched by millions of people or maybe billions of people all over the world. So that is a lot of promotion that Nepal is getting like a destination. Previously, tourism was only, you know, coming, going from place A to place, we're going to Pokhara, Chitwan, this, that. But tourism, for me, is like aloo. It goes well with anything, okay? <laughs> <laughs> right? So today, just, instead of this pure tourism, uh, you have, you know, you have uh, culinary tourism, you have sports tourism, you have education tourism, medical tourism, and of course, pageantry tourism. So we are so happy to be associated with this. All the contestants, we wish them good luck and we really applaud their you know the confidence that they have to have participated so they are all winners in our place and like i said earlier the whole uh, the purpose of the beauty pageants have uh, kind of changed now so it is beauty with brains like if you see shrinkala and then anushka you know she went on to harvard so you can imagine these are very outstanding uh, people that we have the young community the young people of today and uh, 
So, you know, we, for us, especially me as a woman, I think this is a great celebration of women empowerment in Nepal. And I wish everybody and I wish the whole program great success and it's great to be your partner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.